Are you looking for the best graphics cards? In this video we will find some of the 5 best graphics cards in your budget on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1. Zotac Gaming GeForce RTX 3050. The RTX 3050 is a pretty impeccable deal if one can accept the high TDP output. It's marked as one of the best budget graphics cards due to its high performance despite a low price tag. NVIDIA is known for its well-regarded cards yet often high price points. With the 3050, it's a different story. The RTX 3050 features a base clock speed of 1552MHz and a boost clock of up to 1777MHz. It also has 20 ray tracing cores in tandem with 8GB of GDDR6 memory. It's certainly no hot rod, but it does keep up with some of the best GPUs on the market, and 20 ray tracing cores means gaming will be considerably favorable on this card. Number 2. Intel Arc A750. Intel might be better known for its CPUs as opposed to GPUs, but last year's edition of the Arc A750 lent credence to the prowess behind cheap cards. At just $250, the A750 is clearly one of the best budget graphics cards on the market, yet slightly lacks driver support. Intel is working on improving the driver problems plaguing the Arc platform, but even with these concerns the A750 is still quite palatable. The flagship A770 is also a well-rounded card but is a bit more expensive. With the A750, you'll get about 90% of the flagship card at a more affordable rate, leveraging 28SA core and 448 XMX engines, 8GB of DDR6 VRAM on a say HPG microarchitecture. The driver problems may sway a lot of readers, but Intel is continuously stamping out issues and it's hard to look past a relatively great platform for $250. Number 3. MSI AMD Radeon RX 6600. MSI's Radeon RX 6600 XT is a well-rounded option that is only $311 currently. Like most options among the best budget graphics cards, the RX 6600 XT has 8GB of GDDR6 memory but also leverages 1845 MHz of GPU clock speed. This card is a gamer's dream come, marketed at a budget price with some serious firepower. The RX 6600 XT will net users some tantalizing 1080p performance, with relatively high FPS even on max settings. This card also has Radeon Super Resolution, allowing it even more drastic FPS increases, in tandem with AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution. Luckily, it's dropped in price and now proves to be the go-to option in stellar gaming performances on a budget. Number 4. Gigabyte GeForce GTX 1660 Super. The best overall budget GPU to buy today is the GTX 1660 Super. Like the GTX 1660 before it, the GTX 1660 Super is Nvidia's true budget GPU king. In benchmarks, this card beats the GTX 1660 and RX 588GB by quite a fair margin but doesn't quite catch up to the GTX 1660T. This means the card is perfectly equipped for modern AAA games at 1080p and maximum settings, as well as higher-end VR games and a number of games at 1440p and high settings. This card generally retails at about $240, too, which means it's more expensive than the RX 580 but you're getting much more overall performance. The GTX 1660 soundly defeats the RX 580 in this price range. Without any reasonable doubt, it's the best value offering that NVIDIA has to offer, and it offers most of the 1660 Ti's performance at a much better price point. Unlike other Turing GPUs, though, this card does not offer NVIDIA RTX features. At least, not with any semblance of good performance. Even at low settings, enabling ray tracing in games like Metro Exodus or Battlefield 5 will drop your frame rates, which may be an intentional ploy by NVIDIA to push sales of RTX 1660 T GPUs. Number 5. Gigabyte GeForce GTX 1660T. While we've praised the GTX 1660 Super as the best value NVIDIA GPU, the GTX 1660T is a different story. This card is priced closer to $300 and doesn't offer a proportionate boost in performance to either the RX 580 or the GTX 1660 Super. 
If you're willing to spend just $50 or so more, you could get the RTX 2060 instead, which would serve as a much more powerful and future-proof GPU. At that point, though, you'll have spent over $300 on your GPU not exactly budget by most standards, and if that jump isn't enough for you, the GTX 1660T may just be the right compromise for you. The GTX 1660T has great performance in 1440p and VR games. 1080p gaming isn't even a question with this card, especially with the GDDR6 memory in tow. No question, you'll be able to blast through modern games at 1440p with this GPU, and may even be able to push some as high as 1800p. If your GPU budget has a hard limit at no higher than $300, then this is the best card for you. The NVIDIA GTX 1660T may not offer the best performance per dollar, but it is still the best graphics card under $300.